Some one person uh, asked, uh, you still 1017? <laughs> I'm 10 times saying for life. Shit. I mean, I ain't signed to 10 times but, you know, the girl the good, that my dad. And, uh, whenever I embrace somebody, I fuck with them forever. All right, we got Dirty Dirty uh, Glove Bassett tuning in now. What's going on, Hayes? Yo, 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 what's going on, everyone? Yeah, we got yeah, Rollo in the building. Can you hear him? Yeah, yeah I can hear him. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, Rollo. How you doing, man? What's up, Hayes? Shit, man, I'm cool in the man. How you holding up in there, bro? I ain't uh, muscle, my boy, on the bed. Oh, this shit People been uh, wondering what's going on with the case and everything, man. So um, I, I just really want to ask, like, you know, you've been in there 18 months now. How you been holding up mentally? I mean, shit, I, you know, I gave my heart, my all to Allah, to Islam, to God. So really, you know, only time, you know, see, I, I call my, I call my people and I was like, shit, go ahead and. Go ahead and give me the five years, because if I, if I take the five years, I'll be out within 30 months, and that ain't nothing but another year from here. And I was like, oh, shit, I was prepared to take it, but but my, my, my attorney, he basically telling me, like, no, nah, don't do that, because we still got the motions in, and the judge can rule any day. Like, mm. any morning I wake up, any morning I wake up, my boss can be possibly granted, and the entire case will be dismissed. So, yeah. He explained to me, that's what I called him that morning, he explained to me, I'm shit like, you still gonna be in custody, why would you take the five years and you got a possibility of just dismissing the case? It doesn't usually take from like a year to 14 months for a federal judge to rule on their motions or whatnot. And it's been like seven months so far, so we gotta mm. get a couple more months, man. The, the problem that y'all seen, and which, you know, saying wrong with everybody came to my court, they, and they see that they ain't have a want to come on my airplane and stuff like that. So that problem still does. It's just we still ain't got it ruled on yet. Once the judge say yes to it and grant it, then I, get, I become a free man. Huh. Gotcha. 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 So, yeah, you kind of just kind of waiting it out instead of taking that uh, plea bargain, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, you know, I still got the plea on the table, but it just don't make sense to take the plea. If goddamn, if any day I wake up between now and um between now and then, I can get a dismissal and they can free not only me but all my co-defendants as well. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, what's your daily routine inside there? Like, what, what where do you go through every day? So what I do when I wake up in the morning, of course, I bring my teeth, I bring my hair, I make the wudu. You know, to cleanse myself from my prayer. I eat breakfast. Once I eat my breakfast, I make the father for that in the morning for that. Thank God for waking me up or whatnot in the morning. And I make do off for my case. Hoping that, you know, once that, you know, my motion get grounded or whatnot. After I make the do, after I um, make the light, I grab my little tablet. We got these little tablets in here. And I take my um, my messages site. It's a messenger site called Zaya ATM or whatnot. And all my fans and my supporters and my girl or whatnot, they all be emailing me. So every morning I probably get I probably get probably about four to six emails and I just I respond to all my people. That takes about four, five hours. So about one I usually do that all the way to the next lot, which is about one twenty or one thirty. When I do that, after I do that shit on my I'll back to the next shit up. But um, after I do that shit. Hey, huh? Who else got out of it? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So shit, after that one, I don't know what not. I got down. Um, 
I teach class. I teach class every day at 2 o'clock. Because, you know, I, I'm big on Islam, and I'm the Islam of the whole facility right now. And I teach a class from, from uh, 2 o'clock to, like, 3. Hmm. After that, goddamn, I work out from 3 to about 5. Oh. And this class <laughs> coming at 5, uh, that is the um, office a lot. So after the f- office a lot, I get in the shower and grab my tablet. And once I grab my tablet, I miss and grab my sands for probably about 9 o'clock or whatnot. Mm. My day pretty much be over after that. I wake up in the morning and do the same shit again. Uh, yeah. So I yeah. basically, so I, basically um, I study a lot, I work out a lot, I teach a lot, and I just miss it all my people. I like being on my little um, tablet. You know, they keep they send me pictures, they send me just a lot of material. And I just be ring. You know, anybody can message me, so shit, everybody messes me. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, who are some of the people that have held you down since you've been in there? Like, who's been reaching out? Who's come to visit you? Is there any, uh, any other rappers that have been h- helping you out, holding you down? I mean, you know my boy T. Grizzly. We established a good relationship since I've been locked up. Him and okay. I had not never spoke. When I was on the street, him and I never spoke. T. Grizzly, that's a good brother of mine. And, um, he, he reached out, money man. You know, he reached out. All these brothers try to send me money, but, you know, I don't accept money. But some of my fans, you know, thanks to all my fans, they always be putting money on my book or whatnot. I don't ask them to, but shit, they do it. I kind of count their heart, but uh, 21 Savage, 21 Savage, him and I accomplished um, growing a little bond together. We playing all fucking around with each other. Real, real heavy. Um, Kevin Gates, of course, that's my Muslim brother, you know. Uh-huh. Him and I been holding it down. John Doe, you know, he'll, um, he'll, um, he'll on the ground, right? But then my dog, you know, him yeah. and I, we love him. So, but um, on the American show, you know, my dog, P, at QC, mm. I mean, you know, we might we might be um, announcing that I'm assigned to him when I get out. We're still trying to get that together. Oh, wow. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I've been planning, not planning that for a little while, but. You know, I let the people know I don't want, I ain't, I ain't with that surprising the shit. You know, I ain't really no nigga that try to keep shit in. I let people know. But um, I'm still on Empire. I'm still independent at this time or whatnot. You know, I've been independent forever. But okay. Pete, they're one of the niggas that I always reach out and try to send me money and shit like that. Little baby, he uh, he hit my inbox a lot of times as we do. I need some of shit. My cousin Marlo, you know, that my dog. I mean, you see, really, honestly, all the relationship came from people that I really wasn't even expecting a relationship to come from. Like, you know, NBA mm. y'all boy, he always looking out for me, no plug. Um, I really, I really don't want to leave nobody out, but shit, honestly, to be quite honest with you, I, I talked to everybody since I've been incarcerated. Even, even a nigga might have died, yo. Huh. You know, oh, wow. I'm a nine. Him and I ain't even, him and I wasn't even on good times before I got incarcerated, but shit, I had to, um, got the brother Kevin Gates to call him on D-Way, and, um, I kind of said some words to him when he took his shahada, like, we brothers now, we ain't got no enemies no more. I really, honestly, bro, I really been on some shit, like, I'm trying to clear all that bullshit up. I just want to be, when I get out, I want to be at peace, you know I mean? I ain't trying to get down, be on that extra shit, you did. Yeah, no, I dig that. Yeah, it sounds like you got a really good support system. Uh, what does that mean to you? Does that help you, you know, make the time go by faster? Does, you know, give you reassurance that people haven't forgotten about you out here and all that? Hey, hey, I, hey, I can't listen to God, bro. I'm the guy down on my generation. Um, big me to what now? Uh, Frank Lucas, I'm my generation big now. Hmm. I'm my generation of email. You smell me? I spread the word of Islam. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I, I wasn't ever under the expectation that I would be forgot about. I just, um, I appreciate the love and support, you know. I ain't never get that when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I always been alone because, you know, I was homeless or whatnot, and I stayed on that block by myself, you know, working or whatnot, trying to hustle and make some money, so... When it when I got all of these people supporting me and sending and, and just they're waking up to email from different people that I never met in my life, it, it feels good because I ain't never had that as a child. 
so now that I got like brothers, not from my, my mother or sisters, not from my mother, but just genuine people that support me, you know, I love that shit. I embrace that shit, man. And I and I accept that shit to the highest extent. I even um I even found my sister, her name Tracy Thomas. She from um Miss I mean she from Miami. She even like they my long lost sister and I never seen her since I was four five years old. Oh wow! It did really. It did really help me in a lot of aspects of my life. Hmm. It showed me not to trust certain people and shit like that because you know a lot of niggas told or whatnot or lied or however they did it. You know, they taught me. It taught me a lot of humbleness and patience, and it taught me how to, um, it really taught me how to move around in life and accept people for who they are, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, now, what about raps? Have you been writing any raps while you've been in jail? I mean, shit, you know, I really never wrote a rap in my life. You know, I always freestyle all my songs. That shit come from my heart. I got a couple of songs on which I wrote. But, you know, I got um, on the email of the whole facility. Every facility, every girl that they send me to, I become an email. The email is the leader of the faithful or the leader of the Muslim or whatnot. And that's a heavy duty. You know, that's a heavy, heavy responsibility. It's fun, like, not a pastor, but we need it. So I'm going to hang up a car right back before I can ask the question. Okay. All right. So stay right there. Stay right there. I got you. Hello. An inmate at Lloyd Johnson Jail. This call will be recorded and subject to monitoring at any time. Thank you for using IC Solutions. You may begin speaking now. I found it. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You like the Yeah, I'm still here, Rollo. Hey. What's going on, Rollo? Yeah, I can still hear you. Yep. Okay, goddamn. Yeah, um, like I was saying, I'm an email about the facility or whatnot. And goddamn, yeah, I study a lot because I be having to teach a lot, so I be having to stay on my shit because, you know, I've been kind of changing the lives out here. They put me in the county jail in Rome, they call Floyd County Jail or whatnot, and there wasn't no Muslim out here like that. So I kind of established this Islam out here, and you know, I got a lot of these brothers away from the gang violence and things like that, so I be having to be on that shit more than my rap shit, you smell me? Mm. So, I, I try to I try to study a lot so I can teach. Because, you know, the music gonna be there. I can rap about this shit that they, they put me in for the rest of my life, you smell me? Yep, yep, yep. Um, have you been able to keep up with uh, what's been happening in the rap game since you've been inside? Say that one more time. I said, have you been able to keep up with what's been going on in the rap game since you've been locked up? Or have you, do you have the interest to keep up with it? Yeah, you know, I like to keep up with it. And, um, I just don't like reaching out asking about it. I like when people bring it to my attention. A lot of people bring things to my attention, but I mean, I don't think I'm in the loop as much as I should be. But, I mean, mm. I, I hear a lot of things, and um, I hear whatever my people tell me or whatnot. Okay, okay. Yeah. Have you been but hearing yeah, all the shout-outs? Be... Say it one more time. I was going to say, have you been hearing all the shout-outs and songs you've been receiving from uh, some of these rappers? I can't hear. What do you say? You got to play me a little closer to my ear. Now, I was saying, have you... Have you been hearing all these shout outs you've been getting in some songs from these rappers? Like Free Rollo and all that. Um I know Two Chains just shouted you out on one of his songs. Oh no, I ain't been able to hear. You know, when I was just in the bed, I was just, I just left another fellow from the facility and they kicked me out. I was just in the bed and they felt hmm. like I was um I was being disrespected and they kicked me out of the bed so that kind of keep me away from the music a little bit. Okay. I mean, I should say a lot, but I, um, shit, I be hearing some people say it, but shit, I appreciate it. I want to yeah. say it a little bit more, goddamn it. I need more rappers saying it. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let me ask you, what what do you miss the most about being free? What do I miss the most about being free? Yeah. 
I'm miss, I miss going to the mother's head more than anything in the world. And secondly, mm-hmm. I miss my own kids. And third, mm-hmm. I miss my girl. And fourth, I miss my bro. You know, I'm, a, um, I'm big on my religion of Islam. I love going to pray with the brothers. So, you know, I love praising God. So that's the number one thing I miss the most. And but then the kids, I got them. Uh, What do you plan on doing the first day that you get out? Oh, shit. The first day, um, I'm going to eat me some pussy. I want to go eat my damn pussy. <laughs> shit, I want to go eat your pussy. I want to go hug my kids. But first, I'm going to stop by the magic, and I'm going to go eat your pussy. And then I'm, I want to I wanna hug and hold my kids. And, uh, I want me a Zaspy chicken chicken sandwich. I want me one of them. So, I ain't gonna do a first day song out the first day I get out. It's gonna be the second day because I wanna <laughs> see my kids, I wanna see my girl. Yeah, I was gonna ask how, you know, how long after you get out do you plan on hitting the studio? So, the second day, huh? Say that one more time. Yeah, I was gonna ask how, how long after you get out do you plan on hitting the studio? So, that'll probably be like the second day then, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second day, you know, a lot come first. My, my girl comes second, my kid comes third. Yeah. yeah. And what do you think that first concert's going to look like when you get out? <laughs> I, I kind of want to do something different because, you know, you know, the whole world, uh, everybody in the world, they're like, well, that's going to be the biggest shit when you get out. Well, that's going to be the biggest shit. I swear that, and I know I might have the biggest concert or whatnot, but. I'm trying to become bigger than that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to become bigger than what they can possibly imagine. I got I got another whole plan in which I want to do. We're going to do the club. We're going to do the music. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do all the features. I'm going to do all the shows. You know, they're going to offer me the bankroll or whatnot. But, you know, I got I got something better for that. I got some, some plan that um, they never fix. Okay. Okay. And uh, where will your focus be when you get out? Are you going to focus on music? Is it going to be focused on family, giving back? Where, where's your focus going to be when you get out? I mean, my focus is always on my legacy. You know what I mean? So whether it's music or whether it's with my family, my kids, or whatnot, whatever, it's all about my legacy. I don't want to become – I mean, I have to claim one of the biggest that ever did it or whatnot – on the street level, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I might not became the biggest on my rap level, but I became the biggest in my community. I became the biggest in the streets or whatnot. And um, my, my ultimate focus will be on my religion. I, I, I want to spread Islam more, and I want to um, I want to give some people to pray with me on this I want to um, I want to do that. You know, if I want to build shit up, I want to give back to the community. I want to fix some of this shit that I have broken. I want to clean up some of the shit I fucked up or whatnot. So, um, my ultimate goal would probably be to clean up what I fucked up or fix the type of shit that I have broken with that family. With them, I can help the shit. I want to do that. I want to go clean up. You talking about, like, broken relationships or... No, no, not no fuck, fuck a relationship. I'm talking about, um, <laughs> I'm talking about in the community, like, like okay. What, 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 um, what, 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 shit I can't really discuss. Yeah. But what, what that aspect of like addiction and things of that matter, whether 
or whatever form of drug they was addicted to, I want to get back and help them families and find that now. Do you plan on like talk? Do you plan on talking to the youth about you know the the dangers of the streets and all that? Yeah, see that's that's what I plan on doing the most. Like every city that I go to, I want to I want to talk to the youth. I want to I want to get about three, four, four bus. Um, I want to do that. Even if I have to spend every dollar I got, and I got a lot of dollars, so I want to do that. That's my ultimate goal. The youth is what we need the most. All right, Rollo, final question for you, man. Um, what message do you want to leave to the world right now? Hey, one more time. You know, wh what message do you want to give to the world right now? The message that I want to give to the world, man. Um, the um, stronger the message is I just want the people to know that um, I agree with Justin Bieber on the situation where he said the internet is the devil. And you got to be cautious of how you deal with the devil because you don't, it's devil and mankind and it's devil and ourselves that we're going to have to go down and fight these demons off of us. And we got to, we got to know that, um, that some of the shit that we think right ain't right. Or some of the shit that we think cool ain't cool. And some of the shit that we doing ain't cool. Well, it was me competing with a nigga in a money war or whatever, but that shit went cool. Even though people got views on it, me cost a million dollars, he'll two, three million dollars now. And I ain't for the best man to know what the fuck in my pocket or in your pocket. So, um, let's not compete with each other, you feel me? Let's just do our thing. Let's try to compete and don't like, you feel me? And, um, real right there bro. all right man um i got one more question for you man uh do you think the message in your music will change when you get out Say that one more time. do you think the message in your music will change when you get out oh yeah, yeah. it gotta change you smell me um you know as we get older we grow older now these folks took two years out now all of my life my kids like you know I mean? a lot a lot of shit that um I know I wanna never learn on the street. You know what I mean? I don't know what and I can't and what me lying like, though is lying about how to teach the people. But well, well when I learn how to make some money I was rapping about making money in my music. Whenever I learn how to do anything I I I I preach it through my music or whatnot. So 
real all right rollo i appreciate your time man um yeah, and keep your head up man we hope to see you out here soon man Set it up, man.